All right, you guys, let's move on. Second day of snow day. Will there be a third? Looks like there will be for several schools, if not just that two hour delay. Look at some of the roads. Of course, viewers sending in photos left and right into that ice is the biggest problem, obviously, especially with all the hills around Seattle. Cars can't go up a hill. They could come crashing down, which we saw a video of that earlier today, and we don't want to see any more of that. So hopefully the sunshine tomorrow will help. Tonight, ice is ticking around. Temperatures, again, uh, staying below freezing. In fact, today we barely made it above freezing for our high. Arlington right now at a ridiculous 15 degrees. South Sound, you folks are in the low 20s as well. So next several hours, we're going to see temperatures slowly tumble down. Teens and 20s expected yet again. Sunshine tomorrow, although I think we're going to have highs in the upper 30s. Woo! Yay, before we get into maybe some low 40s before the next storm rolls through. Right now, clear skies for the majority of us. Uh, zooming out here, give you an idea of what we're looking at. Uh, a couple of things. Number one, this cold snap is pulling in cold air from the Arctic regions all the way down into Southern California. They've been seeing snowfall, and now that uh, system is transitioning to the east. But this system out here in the Gulf of Alaska, that's our next, I was going to say rainmaker, that's our next snowmaker, believe it or not. So going into Friday night, and Saturday, I think we can move uh, some snow back into our forecast, and this thing might just linger day after day. So let's break it down. Teens and 20s overnight, sunny, 30s tomorrow, maybe a couple of low 40s, and then snow returning Friday night. Again, I want to show you the long-range model. This will change, but this gives you an idea of what we're looking at, okay? The rest of this week, we're going to keep sunshine. By Thursday, second half of the day, high thin clouds, still filtered sunshine, so we're still going to keep sunny skies on Thursday. By Friday... We're going to watch these systems break apart. we got one going down into Oregon, another one coming from British Columbia, and the combination of the two is going to keep precipitation nearby. And if we have that cold air still coming out of that Fraser, um, Fraser River that we've been talking about, then we could, of course, be talking about snowfall and consistent snowfall. This is Saturday now. Look, snow is not going anywhere. Sunday, we might get a little bit of a break. Okay, great. But then Monday, we got a new storm coming into the south, Olympia Tacoma. This is Monday midday. And then on Tuesday, more snow coming in. So this could just be a repeat event. And of course, we'll obviously keep you posted as things change. But wow, I haven't used a seven day forecast that has this many snow icons on it in a very long time. And that's a look at how chilly it will be from this point forward.